Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back in with another tutorial. And today's tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to make the thumbnail you see on the screen that should pop up right now. But before we get into it, don't forget that uh, I do have GFS pack that I made with some of my homies, and this will be in the description. Got a lot of stuff that I use in my thumbnails and stuff. So if you are looking for a pack and you don't want to pay for nothing, I really recommend this because this is what I use all the time. You see me use this on screen. With all that being said, let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright, so screenshots I'm gonna be using stage be killing screenshots. You don't 2K20, but the same thing would apply if I was making a 2K21 thumbnail. So what you can do is go over here, right click on the image, then copy the image like so, and go back to Photoshop and then edit and paste. And if you're wondering what size I went to, simply I just went to file and then new 1280 by 720, and that is what size I use. So you can just hit Control C, the Control V to uh, paste it also if you want to do it like that. All right, so once you bring your player over here, just make sure he's in the right spot. And I put mine to the left because I always like to have mine to the left. And next thing I'm going to do is cut him out. And by doing that, I just hit P on my keyboard go to the pen tool. So I'm going to cut this out, but I'm not going to skip it. I'm going to just speed it up so you guys can see how I do it. <laughs> So once you get done, well, near done cutting out, you just want to connect the end piece. Right click in the middle, make selection, then hit OK, and then go to uh, end tool. You can hit Control J, but like my lines are going across, I'm still having this issue. If you do have this issue, hit select inverse, and then just hit Control J or either layer via copy. So once you do this, what I will do now is go to my my player layer style, and I'm gonna put this link in the comment section, maybe the description also, but it's gonna be a comment section pin coming and you can just paste this after copying it and you want to go to blender options and you basically pick any color you want i'm probably going to pick red so i'm going to do like this right here and the next thing i'm going to do is go to chrome i mean we'll go back here on twitter and hit copy image for this go back here just hit control v so i'm going to cut out both of these my players and i'll be bad with you guys when i do this all right so once you get done connecting it to the end like i'm about to be done with um you just hit make selection and then once you do that just hit control j now i believe i'm gonna have to do my inverse thing because mine is messed up but if yours is messed up don't do it like that so got this right here if your arm ever be messed up like this you can just go to the lesser tool and fix it like so it's do that by doing that i hit the shift and then the backspace and now we got this right here what we could do is copy the layer style off of the mascot and then paste it on both of these players. And paste it on this. And then paste it on that. And then we go to hue and saturation, colorize, and then make the background red. And you can turn the lightness down. Now I'm probably gonna change my color from red, but I'll be up with you guys and you guys will know if I change my colors up. Alright, so now that I changed this and did all that, I'm gonna go to file, open. Go to my recycle pack and i'm gonna get the 2k20 logo now this one i just added in my pack but it is in here we get this put this behind everything like so and once we put it behind just put it at the top this is where i will put it right here and now that we got this i'm gonna add a few more things and i'll show you guys what i do to the thumbnail all right so the next thing i have is a screenshot this random person right here and basically what i'm gonna do is show y'all how to turn it to like the face cam that y'all be seeing on people thumbnails so um, the first thing I'm going to do is make this a little bit smaller, go across it with the tool you just seen me do. I'm going to do layer via copy. Now that I did that, um, make this way smaller and kind of put it like right here. So now that I did this, I'm going to put it uh, below 2K21 logo and my player. And now I'm going to cut out the random person right here, the random, uh, the random dude. Yeah, this dude. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut them out and I'll get back with you guys when I do that. Alright, so now that we got this first cut out, uh give you guys another tip. So if like um random person you got on the screenshot, just just saying that like if, if the quality that bad on there, you just wanna reduce the noise and then add the strength up a lot, you can copy my settings. But yeah, just reduce that noise. Feel me? It look like this person took his picture off of iPhone 5, but I'm gonna reduce this some more right here also. And basically, for what we want to do for this right here, we can just cut this part out so it can stand out like how I want it to. 
uh, hold control both these layers and break it up like that. So now that we're almost done with the thumbnail, the next thing I'm gonna do is copy the layer style from this my player right here and paste it on this random person right here. And now that we've done this, if you don't uh, wanna do it like this, obviously it's up to you how you wanna do it. I'm gonna have mine like this, but now I'm gonna add a stroke to the so-called like the face cam right here. So now that I add the stroke to the face cam, we can leave it like this and add a drop shadow to it. So the thumbnail is looking pretty good. Only thing we're missing is a, little, uh, a few more things and I'm gonna show you guys what those things are. Next thing I wanna do is go back to the celery pack and get a text box. And basically with this, I'm gonna put it right here cause this random dude, like he's getting beat and he's really confused right now. So basically, um, quick note. What I did was I took out the legend symbol and I took out that sunburst, but it, that will also be in my pack. It will be a sunburst and then the legend symbol will be in the rips part of my pack if you want to use it. That's just a quick note because I did take it out of the video since I didn't use it and I took it out at the end. Just quick note. So, we can just add this to him. And if you want to, you can let, uh, take out the legend thing or keep it in. It is up to you. But... I'm gonna add emoji that I think fit the situation. Um, I'll be able to you guys when I pick that. I got my emoji, just simply put it in here. Feel me? It's like so. But um, make it the right size or whatever. So now we just hold control and, and then pick both these layers. Then hit control E to merge them. Then go to blend the options and hit the little drop shadow. And you can copy my drop shadow settings. That's what I use for them. And you can add a legend logo behind them also. Honestly, I think he look better without it. And I might end up taking that off also. So next thing I'm gonna add is like the animated lines on this thumbnail. So I'll go to file and then open. This should be in here. Go to fix, grab it, control C, then go back here, control V, paste it, then put it on screen. And I know for a fact that it is in my pack. It should be in the fix and animated lines. But you just want to do this right here. Now we can lower the opacity on this. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is add this blue effect right here. And put this below everything. So I'm going to get that and then put it on screen. And put it like right here. All right. Once I put this right here. We almost done with the thumbnail, if not complete with the thumbnail. All right, so we're pretty much done with the thumbnail. Now we're just gonna merge visible with everything and go to Magic Bullet Looks. So once we do this, um, you can turn the exposure if you want. I think I'm put up my exposure on 10 for this. I usually do 20 though, but I'm gonna put on 10 just for this thumbnail. Now these are my settings right here. And now that we did this, we can finish. And this fake uh, Topaz Labs. Now you can either do crisp. I know a lot of people, I see a lot of people that like crisp. But I like to do mild detail and then hit apply. Next thing I will do is go to camera raw filter. And I like to add grain. I put my grain on 13 or above every thumbnail. Add some saturation and vibrance to it. And add some contrast to it a little bit and add some more saturation vibes. Now, this is how you make this thumbnail you saw on the screen. If this tutorial help you out in any type of way, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's been your boy Dragon. Peace out, man. All right, bro, so this video is about to be over with, but um, for everybody that stick around to these last few seconds, I wanna say thanks for watching the entire video, and thanks for just showing support on my channel because I really appreciate that. If it weren't for you guys, I'd still be making videos like this. Yo, what's up, Dragon? Back with another YouTube video, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make the best glass from the build on NBA 2K20. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications. So this clip I'm about to show you guys right now, um, I just want to show this because it really inspired me, and it's just crazy to even think that happened. But I'm gonna show this clip, and then I'm gonna end the video. I really thank everybody that's been supporting me, man, and peace out. Like, you know, who's this NF? Hang on, let me check out this NF Dragon dude real quick. Oh, I'm tripping. Definitely should have picked him up. 
You only have five? Oh no, okay. Swing him one. He is a six seven or six nine power forward moon sharp. You got eighty three win percent. I like that build. Yeah. Wait, what was this what was this gamer tag again? And oh it was dragon. yeah, NF Dragon. Sorry. Okay. Okay, we pretty much got our five, I think. As long as he accepts the squad. Yo, how does the audio sound? I'll, I'm gonna pay attention to the chat now. Oh, blue skirt, you can actually dub me. That Lega fan came to my screen. What's up, Lega fan? Oh, jump. That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, how did this man find my hey. screen? Did Dope tell you come in here? You know, I had to pull a little screens. Nah, screen they... suck a little geek. Man, what? Turn my screen like that. I don't know how he found my screen. I was just talking about that earlier though. Cause I don't post my junk on Twitter or nothing. Like, I've been seeing your screen. work. Keep up the, keep up the work. Mm. That's crazy though, bro. I appreciate that a lot. You coming through. His big bro told him to come through. Oh, okay, I see how it is, yeah. I see that. Ain't no way this man just gonna, gonna find my screen like that. Mm -mm. 